Oh, we're going to do lots of songs from the 1920s and 30s. Lots of opportunities for you to sing along, so don't be shy. Um, and a couple of ones that I've written that are disguised as songs from the 20s and 30s, including this one about coffee. Her coffee says it tastes divine. Says she needs a little pick me up from time to time. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, you never get no sleep tonight. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, you'll be up till the morning light. She don't take no milk, she don't take no sugar. Soon as she is finished. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, you never get no sleep tonight. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, you'll be up till the morning light. She roasts all of her own beans. She grinds them too. If she could grow a coffee tree, I surely think that she would do. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, you never get no sleep tonight. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, I'll be up till the morning light. She was in the hospital. I'd take a percolator. Plug it right into her drip so I could caffeinate her. Well, if you keep drinking that coffee, you'll never get no sleep tonight. I've got no fat. If you keep drinking that coffee, you'll be up till the morning light. tell you what, I've played in some uh, less salubrious places. It's really quite nice when your feet don't stick to the floor. <laughs> when the mic goes off, that's usually a bad sign. <laughs> usually means it's time to start the car. <laughs> right, it's time for you to join in with me. This is a, an old tune with a little refrain. It's very easy. When I sing Diddy Wa Diddy, you sing it back at me. Let's practice. Diddy wa diddy! Diddy wa diddy! You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> okay, it goes like this.
Thank you very much. Now, very sadly, a few weeks ago, one of my musical heroes passed away. Leon Redbone. Anyone know him? No. Well, you will now. You go and look him up when you get home. Leon Redbone. He, uh, very mysterious character. And he used to play loads of old songs from the 20s, but he used to claim he wrote them all. Which is why when he died, his obituary claimed he had died at the age of 127. <laughs> and I used to do this one like a fairly fast-paced 20s dance tune. But he used to do it a lot slower. And he used to sing it a little bit more like this. So I think in his memory, I'll try and do this one a little bit more in Leon style. In the town of Louisville, there was a man they called Big Bad Bill. Let me tell you, he sure was tough, and he certainly did strut his stuff. He had folks all scared to death. When they walked by, they held their breath. He was a fighting man. Sure enough. Now Bills took himself a wife and he leads a different life. Well, Big Bad Bill is sweet William now. Married life. Has changed him somehow. He was the man that they all used to fear. Now the people call him Sweet Papa Willie Dear. Stronger than Samson, I declare. Until some hot head mama bobbed his head. Oh, big bad bill, don't fight anymore. Washing dishes and he mops up that floor. Well, he used to spend his evening looking for a fight. Now he has to see his mama every night. Oh, Big Bad Bill is sweet William. I say, Big Bad Bill is sweet William. Big Bad Bill is sweet. He used to do a great thing in the intervals at his show. He would uh, finish the first half, and he'd have his chair, and he would sit down to play, and he would have a table next to him, and in the interval, he would, he would announce the interval, and he would remain seated, and then a waiter would bring him out a cigar and a martini, and he would sit on stage and have his interval right there. And the interval was over when he'd finished. <laughs> by Blind Blake. Blind Blake was a great blind guitarist. Um, he wrote loads of great tunes for sort of ragtimey blues guitar. This is one of his, it's called Police Dog Blues. All my life I have been a traveling man.
bother around her house at night. She's got a police dog craving for a fight. His name is Rambler, and when he gets the chance, his name is Rambler, and when he gets the chance, he leaves his mark on everybody's pants. Guess I'll travel. Guess I'll let her be. Guess I'll travel. Guess I'll let her be. Before she sets that police dog on me. things I quite like to do is, because um, I'm inherently lazy, if I'm on the bill with lots of other musicians I like to make them work as well, so hopefully just hiding around that corner there should be various people that you have already seen and are going to see in a bit who are going to come and join me for a song. They've all got various things with them. Have you got your instrument, man? I, I hear that Mandy's your mum and dad, right? Yep. Mandy's mum and dad are into that. Where's Mandy's mum and dad? All, all this time at music college. I love you. Right, while they're all getting ready. This is a, a tune by Lil Johnson, and Lil Johnson wrote and recorded 40 songs in the 30s, in about 36, 37, all slightly naughty, cheeky songs, and then disappeared off the face of the earth. No one knows what happened to her after 1937. Um, which is, you know, mysterious and sad, but also a real boon for the musician covering her songs, because there's no copyright to worry about. <laughs> So this is a song where you have to play an important part. You have to sing along. So I will teach you the word now. The word is nuts. After you, after me, nuts. Nuts. Right, you'll get the hang of it. I'll, I'll kind of. George will cue you for nuts. Oh yeah. George will cue for cue. Yeah. Are we all ready? Oh, one, two, three, and four. Selling nuts, nuts, hot nuts. Does anybody here wanna buy my nuts? I'm selling nuts, nuts, hot nuts. I got nuts for sale. Well, they say your nuts is mighty fine, but I bet your nuts ain't as hot as mine. Well, nuts, nuts, hot nuts. You buy them from the peanut man. You got it. Selling nuts. Anybody here wanna buy my nuts? I'm selling nuts. Nuts! Hot nuts. I got nuts for sale. When you see that man all dressed in brown, he's got the hottest nuts in town. I'm selling nuts. Nuts! Hot nuts. You buy them from the peanut man. Go on, George.
Small, but better to have small nuts than no nuts at all. I'm selling nuts. Nuts! Hot nuts. You buy them from the peanut man. I'm selling nuts. Nuts! Hot nuts. Does anybody here want to buy my nuts? I'm selling nuts. To grunt. When a man gets hungry, he goes on a hunt for nuts. Nuts! Hot nuts. You buy them from the peanut man. One more, George. It's all going to sound really re remarkably thin and quiet, but they wanted to do it earlier on in the set, not at the end, so they could go to the bar. Okay, this is a little dance tune from 1920-something uh, called uh, Hello Central, Give Me Dr. Jazz. musicians here, um, you practice diligently with your metronome. <laughs> yes you do. <laughs> and then you get on stage and adrenaline kicks in. <laughs> you go, what did they got? <laughs> this is a little tune. Um, so 
I just did a tune about nuts. This is one about crisps. There's a theme here. Sorry, Simon, I haven't got any about biscuits. Well, actually, I have. There's some on my CD. If you want the ones about biscuits, you better go and buy a CD. Free biscuit with every CD. Simon, make that happen. <laughs> this is a Slim Gaylord song. Slim Gaylord was a, a great uh, swing guitar player and piano player. He played piano both ways. That way. And that way. Oh yeah, look him up. And this is called Potato Chips. But he did another song as well, so it's pretty much the same thing. So I'll, I'll try and squash them together. Potato chips, how my mouth just drips. Potato chips, how my mouth just drips. Crunch, crunch, I don't want no lunch. All I want is potato chips. Potato chips, how my mouth just drips. Potato chips, how my mouth just drips. Crunch, crunch, I don't want no lunch, all I want is potato chips. No matter where you are, you'll always find a bag around. At a bar or a picnic, even at a baseball ground. Potato chips, how my mouth just drips. Potato chips, how my mouth just drips. Crunch, crunch, I don't want no lunch, all I want is potato chips. If you From the Peanut Man song on, and the idea was it was going to be just a few of those slightly cheeky songs. Now, they can't actually be rude, that's got to be in your head. Yeah. Otherwise, I can't sing them to children and have them sing them to their parents on the way home. I'll get into trouble. <laughs> See, when you turn up at folk festivals and blues festivals as a ukulele player, they put you in the kids' tent. <laughs> <laughs> So I wrote this song to go on that little EP because I thought, it can't be that hard to write one of these filthy songs, I'll have a go. And I was reading a book about the super chief train that goes from Chicago to Los Angeles, or used to, um, and it was a sleeper train because that's a heck of a long journey, but it wasn't like the sleeper train you get on Poirot, it wasn't like the Orient Express. The seat at the bottom would fold into a bed, the luggage rack kind of thing folds down into a bed, there's a couple of curtains and that's your lot. Bathroom at each end. That's, that was it. No luxury at all. But I also discovered that the porters on these trains were very highly regarded. It was a very good job to have. Most of them were black workers, and they were the first black workers in America to unionise. They were very well respected. And were all called George. <laughs> really, they weren't really all called George, but the porters were all named George, so that people on the train could call George, not Porter. Because it seemed a little bit nicer. But what they would do is buy, buy blues records at one end and sell them at the other. So they were kind of an unofficial blues record distribution service. But of course, the song isn't about that. It's just filth. <laughs> That's the train. In that super cheap from Chicago to Los Angeles Everyone else it seems had the same idea Found a seat 
next to a pretty girl who said, Why, won't you join me, sir? I said, Thank you, ma'am. I'll sit right here. Night time came and the porter with it. He folded the seats and he made up the linen. She smiled and she said to me, I'll go on the top, you go on the bottom. You know I like it better that way. I'll go on the top, you go on the bottom. I didn't know what to say. She said, well, you're so big and I'm so small and I'd hate to get squashed if you were to fall. So I'll go on the top, you go on the bottom. You know I like it better that way. I'll go on the top, you go on the bottom. You know I like it better that way. participation time again. And this is another filthy song. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? Ever since I added about half a dozen quite naughty songs into the set, I've had a long succession of gigs in churches. <laughs> and in a few weeks' time, I'm playing in a cathedral, would you believe? <laughs> Doing this kind of silly nonsense. But I haven't burst into flames yet. <laughs> this is a song by uh, the great Bo Carter. And Bo Carter was a member of um, a black string band called the Mississippi Shakes, who did some amazing country blues music, and I'm going to play one of theirs next. And he wrote that one as well. But he had this sideline in, in filth. So this is Bo Carter's second filthiest song. Um, his first, you know, worst one is uh, Can I Put My Banana In Your Fruit Basket? <laughs> Which is the title of the compilation album of his records. I highly recommend it. It's available online. Bo Carter, banana in your fruit basket. But you'll get the hang of singing on with this one, I'll give you the nod.
wasn't doing. My pencil wouldn't write because the lead's all gone. Another song by the same man, but this time in his guise as songwriter for the Mississippi Shakes. Does everybody out there know of Del Rey? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't, please seek out Del Rey. She's a great, um, great lady. She's a wonderful ukulele player. I learn most of what I do. So I play one of these resonator things. I play with picks, all because of learning from Del Rey. And thanks to the wonderful world of the ukulele, I went from learning from her VHS cassette lessons uh -huh. yeah. to meeting her at a festival, to playing with her, to touring with her and opening for her and stuff like that, and we've become friends, and it's, it's, that's the ukulele for you. Yeah. That's you lot, that is, people like you. So give yourselves a round of applause for being people like you. Yeah. You're what makes this, this scene the special place that it is. And she learned this song from the guy that wrote it because he lived a very, very long life and she started playing when she was very young. And then I learned it from her, which is about as close as I'm going to get. It's called, uh, Both Are Feeling Good Right Now. I'm feeling good, you say you're feeling good, we're both. Let me tell your friends A man's life is more than kin Let me tell you what happened to me When I was down in old Tennessee Spent half of my life Without ever loving no wife Then I found a girl to be mine Now this life I'm living is just I'm feeling good, you say you're feeling good, we're both feeling good right now. I'm feeling good, yeah, you're feeling good, I can't stop this feeling, no how. When I first met you, babe, I thought you wouldn't do, but since I'm loving you, baby, there's been no one but you, yeah. I'm feeling good, you say you're feeling good, we're both feeling good right now. Ukuleles is, as you all know, they don't like the, the heat. 
or the cold, or the dry, or the damp, yeah. Okay, who was in my workshop this afternoon? Yay, loads of you. We're going to do a song now that you did in the workshop, so you'll be able to sing along with it. And if you've got your uke handy, you can strum along with it as well. We're going to do a song. Um, Richard M. Jones wrote this song, but it was made famous by Big Bill Brunsey. It's called Trouble in Mind. And if you want to sing along with the chorus, I'll teach it to you now. It goes, Trouble in mind, I'm so blue, but I won't be blue always. The sun's going to shine on my back door someday. Are you all ready? Trouble in mind, I'm so blue. I won't be blue always. The sun's going to shine on my back door someday. That's your bit. Okay, here we go, everyone. Trouble in mind, I'm so blue. I won't be blue always. The sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. I'm gonna lay my head on some lonesome railroad. When the 219 comes, it's gonna pacify my gentle mind. Trouble in mind, I'm so blue. I won't be blue always. The sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. I'm going down. To the river, gonna take my old rocking chair, and if the blues comes and finds me, well I'll just rock away from there. Trouble in mind, I'm so blue. I won't be blue always. The sun's gonna shine. So well, trouble in mind. I'm so blue. I won't be blue always. The sun's gonna shine on my back door. I say the sun's gonna shine on my back door. Yeah, the sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. Well, it's, it's coming to that, that time where I'm going to have to play my last song. Aww. I'm going to play it anyway. <laughs> I've got loads of these little picky things in my pocket. I keep, I keep picking out three fingers and no thumbs. <laughs> so I'm going to finish off with a little um, 1920s dance tune. So if you do want to dance, well, <laughs> something, uh, something chair based. <laughs> Something vertical would be good. Uh, if you do want to dance, there is a little bit of space at the front, but if you are going to dance, be decisive. It's a short song. <laughs> and, uh, I'd hate to see you decide, you know what, I am going to, and get halfway down the side, and then I'll finish and you have to go back. But thank you so much for, for listening, and thank you for participating in this fantastic festival. And thank you to everyone who organised it and put it on, and to our sound crew, and to the people serving the drinks, and the final drinks for this wonderful evening and a wonderful afternoon. And it's not over yet. So I'm going to finish off with this. Uh, it's called I Wish I Could Shimmy Like My Sister Kate. Thank you. She was
Thank you. 